Hello there, my name is Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars and a video clip of a Citroen Berlingo first converted from brand new to LPG as with all our commercial vehicles LPG by fuel we sell a lot of these very very popular it's on an 08 plate registered the 20th of August 2008 showing just 27,000 miles and as you can see it's very very clean um, normally before I do a video I'll give a van or a vehicle a wash I haven't done anything to this other than put our tax disc holder in the front windscreen so this is as we have collected this van I'm sure you agree it's not been abused at all it is very very clean tray plate. so the tank is bolted to where the spare wheel should have been underneath the vehicle and obviously the spare is bolted to the rear sort of cage arrangement to protect the driver very clean dries very well indeed rear light rear windows high level brake light it's the Citroen approved BRC system that's been fitted and again from day one I'll show you all the documents in a moment it's very clean there are no rips or tears to any of the fabric the carpets are in great order it's not had hard work at all this little van it originally came from Citroen Birmingham who well, your camera can pick it up there we go and we uh, used to and still do get brand new vehicles from Citroen Birmingham to be converted to LPG so we know the people at Citroen Birmingham very well front passenger seat very clean front door card very clean as well I'll just uh, show you some more details of the uh, comforts in this van the front driver seat is not showing any signs of wear it looks like a brand new seat front door card again no scuffs or marks or rips to any of the plastic manual windows in the front uh, sort of manually adjustable wing mirrors there are two keys as well for uh, this Berlingo. You get a little ashtray here, but it's never been smoked in. Doesn't smell of smoke at all. Yeah, there's the cigarette lighter, as brand new, never been smoked in. And there's no undue odours here either. So it's quite a comfortable place to be in the Citroen Berlingo first. We've got a single shot CD player, uh, heating vents, hazard warning lights, little head up display for the date and uh, radio station or track CD track you're listening to normal standard radio like I said heated controls five-speed manual gearbox little PowerPoint there and that's the BRC LPG switch um, just to show you the mileage there it's a thousand miles overdue its service so it will be serviced before it's sold 27,827 miles backed up with a good service history that's uh, the petrol gauge obviously and that click you heard is it clicking over to LPG she always need a little bit of petrol in the petrol tank just for that warm-up period that's just showing the handbrakes on and the other side is just a seat belt warning light and the orange light is just obviously low petrol so keep five or ten pounds worth of petrol in there will last you three or four months to be honest so all the warning lights go out everything works as it should and i'll just turn it off and just show you how it starts up so the red light at the top denotes it's going to start up on lpg on petrol and because it's warm it clicks over clicks over there we go <laughs> to amber and then to green and then we are running on LPG so all four lights when they're illuminated is a full tank so we've got about half a tank of LPG and when you're running out of LPG autogas it automatically switches back to petrol and you hear that continuous beep all the time and it goes beep 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 and that tells you even though you switch to gas it is defaulted to petrol and that's what happens when it runs out so you then fill up with LPG, turn the system back on, click from the tank in the rear, turns to amber, turns to green. So basically it's a very simple arrangement, so you don't ever have to press this switch. 
unless you run out of petrol and then you just want to stop it beeping at you. But um, I'll explain all that to, to you when you come to look at the vehicle. We've got steering wheel controls for the sound system, wipers on that side, uh, indicator and lights on the other side and of course power assisted steering and we have a driver's airbag. Everything works on the van as it should. We've got a uh, courtesy light there that obviously works on the doors when you open the doors. So everything works as you would expect it to. So I'll just show you now some documents. So in the document wallet we have everything that came with the van when it was new, a handbook and also a guide to using the uh, radio CD system. We have the V5. Now it has been on a cherished number plate. That was the private plate it was on, RFL998. And it's now gone back onto its proper 08 plate. So what we call this is the fact that the rest of the V5 is with DVLA waiting for the next owner. So it is in the trade, as they say, and it's been stamped by DVLA. So when you come to buy the vehicle, we can go to DVLA, tax it and register it in your name with this part, and then the full V5 will come through in your name and that's because uh, it's having a change of registration number but it's all documented and so it's all been stamped by DVLA so the V5 in effect is here the MOT is nice and long and it is through to August the 6th 2013 and no advisories on the MOT so good long MOT we have the original dual fuel CLS dual fuel BRC warranty booklet here including the old style LPG certificate but this is also online as well so converted at just 185 miles by Hertz Autogas who are people we've used in the past very very professional and so all the documentation regarding the LPG system is here there's a little printout from the lease company just to show that it is uh, HPI clear in all respects. I've got paperwork there to show you as well. The service history is what it should be. It's quite comprehensive. We have an invoice here for an oil change on the 2nd of November 2009 but there's no mileage date noted um, but on, in August 2010 at 16,000 miles it had a service and the 8th of the 11th last year it had a service at 21,000 miles so it's due a service on the date but not on the miles but it will be serviced by us before it is sold so good full service history on this LPG van. So looking under the bonnet it's not been cleaned as you can see so uh, like I said we'll just pick this straight up from the lease company it's not showing any new parts it is HPI clear of course there's the inline BRC filter with the vapor unit down there so lots of room on the uh, 1.4 Bilingo the gas rail with the four gas injectors all getting injected into the inlet manifold so it's nice and dry and there's no signs of any oil or any undue uh, leaks of any liquids of any type and everything works as it should no new parts, we've got the BRC um, ECU control unit down there as well. And it's also just a little sticker there showing it's been fitted by Hertz Autogas, who are very good, well known LPG converters. So, before I walk you around this van, I'll just take you now for a short test drive. So, welcome to the test drive. So, uh, we're already running. Clutch feels lovely and light. I'm halfway up the pedal. Setting gear all the way from the junction. The first thing you'll notice about an LPG van is so much quieter than a rattly old smelly diesel. And with fuel costing around 60 pence a litre, a lot cheaper, or more than half price. Um, very comfortable the Blingo, nice upright driving position. A bit of road noise as you'd expect from basically a big box at the back of you. Down to third. No one due noises from the suspension. Drives like all the other 
goes to St Paul to the left or the right, which is the camera of the road, there we go. Fifth gear, 2,000 revs, 45 miles per hour. Really does drive very well. Um, and you'll find it's much cheaper to run than the diesel version. So I'll just pull over now. Again, it pulls up lovely and straight. It doesn't pull to the left or the right. nice quiet tick over so I'll just take you now for a final walk around this van so welcome back from the test drive so I'll walk you around the van point out any imperfections I can find the windscreen is chip free there are no cracks or chips to the windscreen the front wheel is very very clean it's hardly any curbing to the steel wheel and the front wheel I'd say is about three millimeters on the front tire Wing mirror is fine, absolutely no dents down the side, it's very very clean. Rear tyre, about five or six millimetres on there, and again, rear rim is not curbed or marked at all, it really is very clean. The corners, the back bumper, unmarked, the back doors, unmarked, the roof, very clean, so we've not yet polished this, so you've seen it in its dirty state. Uh, the rear tire like the other one, 5-6 millimetres, again the rear wheel is perfect. I've shown you the LPG filler, down this side is very clean, the wing mirror is fine. So the only thing we've done is attached our tax disc holder, we haven't prepared this at all. And the front wheel like the other one, 2-3 to three millimetres. And the front wheel being really picky, tiny tiny bit of curbing to the steel rim. The front corners are fine, tiny, no, not even a scuff there, no, perfect. The front bonnet, tiny chip there, that's just a piece of dirt. It will polish up really, really well, which we'll do over the next few days. So, on an 08 plate, it's been on a private plate, all been documented by DVLA. Um, cheaper to run than a diesel, as you heard in my test drive. So we won't have this for long, it represents excellent value for money. So thanks for watching, if you have any questions or you'd like to test drive this Bilingo, feel free to give me Jonathan a call anytime. Thank you.